Thank you so much for joining Pillow Talks. I am your host, Catrice Wright, the Tyler Teller. We are here, and today I have a special guest, Miss Tanya A. Brown. Yes. She is the author of Pain Management. Yes. She got a story to tell. We yes. want you to come on this journey with us today. Yes. Self-inflicted pain is basically um, when we expect things from people mm -hmm. that they can't give us. Ooh. And so we find ourselves keep going back to that same pattern mm -hmm. of just trying to get love, just mm -hmm. trying to get you know peace, just trying to come up, whatever the reason is, we find ourselves reaching out to those that can't, can't give it to self-inflicted pain. Now we can ride that all day. Yes. Like how many of us expect yes. something from somebody right. else that they can't give they you? They cannot give you. They can't give you that. Mm -hmm. So what happens to that pain or that um because you know I'm gonna say it's a letdown. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. um and it goes into disappointment. Depression. Depression. Mm -hmm. Suicidal thoughts. This is what depression looks like. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> to be all the way honest and wow. transparent with my own story. You okay. know, um, it, it was rough, you know, and, and I don't want to say that I went through so many things because that was God's assignment for me. Although my whole life was written from the foundations of the world, mm -hmm. I'm saying that even in the wrong decisions that I made, mm -hmm. He still was faithful. You know, even even when I didn't know that he was there, he was always there. Yes. But when you're going through, you feel like, ain't nobody there. Don't right. nobody hear you. Don't nobody care. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's rough. But mm -hmm. when you come to, when you come, thank you, Holy Spirit, when you come to the mirror mm -hmm. and you get to see yourself mm -hmm. as he see you, mm -hmm. flaws and all. Mm -hmm. And then you can admit mm -hmm. that it still hurts somewhere. Mm -hmm. That's when healing begins. That is where the healing begins. When you can look at yourself in yeah. the mirror mm -hmm. and you can see. And then while you're looking at that, that reflection, he's going to reflect yes. himself. Back. And then you see what you're missing. Yes, why absolutely. you not whole? Why you not right. complete? What right. part of him, that peace, right, right. that love, mm -hmm. all that joy. Because if absolutely. you're depressed, you're not feeling no you're not joy. You're not feeling joy. You're, you're not. feeling a lot of anger and anxieties mm -hmm. and different things like that. Mm -hmm. So I just believe that we're in a time where... First, first of all, I believe that Jesus is coming back, of course. and um, and I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. I also believe that He's coming for those deeply rooted things that we don't talk about. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't talk about it because we compressed it, so we don't mm -hmm. know that it's still there. Mm -hmm. It was something that Holy Spirit said to me as I was writing, and just to back up a little bit, I didn't know this was going to be a book. Mm -hmm. The way God delivered me and healed me from mental battles mm -hmm. was through my writing. So I thought wow. when Holy Spirit came to me and said, it's time for you to start writing again, I didn't know what that was going to look like. Mm -hmm. Immediately, though, I knew that he was going to do something in me mm -hmm. and through me. It was strategic. Mm -hmm. Very strategic. Very you didn't strategic. know, but he had already had a plan he for had you. A plan. And you're healing, so you just by faith yes. just started writing. And I said, Lord, what am I going to write about? Mm -hmm. And he said, pain management. Mm -hmm. So, Co, okay, um, I work in mental and behavior health. Mm -hmm. Very passionate about people and mm -hmm. love to be that person, be, for, be there for a person mm -hmm. that has a different ability mm -hmm. or maybe can't articulate what they're doing. So I feel like God called me to that particular platform because he wants them to know also that he loves them and he cares for them as well. Mm -hmm. So when he said pain management, um, again, I thought it was, I'm about to go through a spiritual therapy mm -hmm. and God was about to deliver me out of some 
mental Egypts that mm -hmm. I was living in. Mm -hmm. Mental. You said mm -hmm. mental. A lot mental of things Egypt. we don't want to admit or yes. say there's mental disorder. Yes, yes. There's mental disease. Yes. I mean, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He starts with your mind first. Yes, he does. He wants your mind. Yes, he does. He wants your mind. That is the battlefield the right battle. there. It's never been the outside things as uh -huh. much as it's been what you're processing, uh -huh. how you're processing what you're thinking. Uh -huh. I read in Joyce Meyer's book, uh, Battlefield of the Mind, and uh -huh. one thing that stood out to me, she said, think about what you're thinking about mm. before you speak. Yeah. And when I first heard that, that was a challenge to mm -hmm. me. Like, yes, think about what you're thinking about because if you if you don't process before you speak, mm -hmm. then you're gonna sound like you're crazy. <laughs> right, 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 right. And then be labeled that as part. you're crazy. Uh -huh. you know? you but think uh, about what you said. Not at all. Not yeah. at all. But it just takes one day at a time. Yes. And it takes admitting where you are. So that's the management part. That's the management part. Tell them a little bit because your book, I know that it's gonna bless so many. Pain management. Mm -hmm. Which you can pre order this book right yes. now. Um, it is in the process. It's, in it's process. beautiful. Um, I know you see the book cover. I love the book cover yes, by the I way do. Do. it's so clean yes. and it has that glass that little spill if you guys see it if you yes. don't if you haven't been on her page or my page yes. just go back to agape voice my page her page and you'll see that cover yes and then you can tag right there on the post yes. that you want to pre-order yes and uh one of us you know if you're on tiny page she'll let you know how to do that if yes. you go on my page i'll let you know how you can pre-order yes. it's fifteen dollars we just yes. want to put that out hey we here you know that is a yes. seed sown yes. into your life you know a lot of people thank you write books and it comes from their heart and we yeah. need you to um you know find out what you need to be right reading because words are important right Yes, and um, so anyway, so the management part. Mm -hmm. So the management part is actually for me, and it may not apply to everybody, but for me, it was keeping a journal okay. of my thought life. Okay. Um, so you can see what so you, you can see thinking. what you were actually thinking, and then being honest, mm -hmm. I, I found that hard to just say what I was actually thinking, mm -hmm. and even in that process, it was learning of who God is, you know, mm -hmm. that he's omnipotent, he's omnipresent, yes, he so he sees all, he knows all, mm -hmm. but I was afraid to go to him and tell him what my nasty thought was, yeah, you know, yeah. and, was, see and was afraid to write it down, that's crazy, yeah. wasn't nobody yeah. around me, but you didn't that want was to let bondage. it out, yeah, yeah. that was bondage, that's true. that so was many. Egypt for me, so yeah. it wasn't until, again, when I started crying out to him, you know, and sometimes my crying out was in my behavior. Okay. Sometimes my crying out was came through anger. Mm -hmm. It came through depression. I was quiet. I started mm -hmm. withdrawing from people mm -hmm. and staying to myself more and more. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the signs? Let's say, you know, uh, maybe one or two things. You say drawing from yourself, mm -hmm. um, you know, like depression, because you yes. might know somebody that's dealing with a lot of pain. Right. And, you know, what would you would have wanted somebody to say or do? Could, could anybody reached out to you? I know your book, Pain Management, would help a lot of people, yes. but you know, you was in that place. You yes. was, it was darkness, it was depression, yes. it was a lot of pain. Yes. And did your friends say, hey, how you doing? Did they even know? I kept a mask on. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. um, I was singing in the choir, depressed. Wow. I was praying and being an intercessor, depressed. Wow. I was saying all the right things, Depressed. <laughs> home crying. Right. Keep and then in. when I go home, I'm in that feeble position mm -hmm. because I didn't know who I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to get the pain out. Mm -hmm. For me, some people may say, you know, you can't tell all your business type thing. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's a problem, especially in, in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Because we were learned to be quiet. Wow. Don't say certain things. Mm -hmm. But it's those certain things. Man, yes, somebody else. cried. Then he, David cried yes. out. He sang yes. songs. Yes. He, he let it out. Yes, yeah. he did. Yes, he did. And in that moment, that's when you really start to experience freedom okay. if you just be real. But yeah. I, I just had to get real. I had to get real. I had to put down religion, take mm -hmm. the mask off, uh -huh. and just be who I am unapologetically. Wow. Yeah. And it took a lot of of my honesty and, and giving it to God for me to break out 
yeah. and be who I am today. So yeah. I'm confident and yes, you are. Look at her, beautiful yeah. new author. She's a God speaker. She's yeah. at, she's in here flowing today, y'all. She was prepared you, and ready. Thank mm -hmm. God for your journey, yes. sister. Thank God that you were willing to go through that because He said yes. that He will work all things yes. out for our good. Yes. Maybe you know you don't have to go through that, but if you are going through that. Mm -hmm. He gonna work it out. He Look at that. You have out. this story. You're so transparent. You're not hot. You yeah. put that mask down. He was like, we're not doing no yeah, mask no more. Raw and uncut. Wow. wow. That's the only way you're gonna get free if you tell the truth. I love it. And you I gotta remember it. also that healing hurts first. Okay. Now if you think about that scientifically. Okay. If you were getting surgery mm -hmm. from a hip replacement. Okay. Your healing process it's irritated. Oh, true. It hurts to touch. Mm -hmm. You know how to like, itch sometimes. It itch. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the itch is very irritating. You can't move like how you want to. That part, because that's just like yes. sometimes you gotta sit down. Because what if you would have sat down and took time for you? Right, right. Off the choir. Right. Off the intercessory team. Right. You know what if? You know, we take time, time. to heal. Yes. And just let it sit right there. Yes, yes, yes. And let God. And let God have his way. But I think a lot of people in ministry, they run when it starts to hurt. Mm. And that's when it's healing. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Healing hurts. Right when you're about to break down. Right. Right when you're about to let all them tears out. And yeah. 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 I've seen that happen. Yes. I, and man, I, I remember maybe a week or two ago, I did this post. I was like, it's okay to cry. Yes. I don't know if you see anybody saw it. Yes. But um, it was funny for me because at that day it was a hard day for me because I had a lot of like to carry and I thought I was superwoman. Yeah. You know? yeah. And I was like, and my husband's like, you know what's the matter? I was like, well, he was like, it's okay. Yeah. And I finally let it out and I just cried. Yes. And didn't nobody hurt my feelings. I was hurting myself. Yes. Yes. Did not let myself be free, free. to just let right. that emotion out. And sometimes our breakthrough just comes when we release those yes. tears, when we release that spring, that yes. shout with that my cry. audience and your audience and anybody else. Y'all share, share, share. Yes, Maybe please what share. will they get? One thing that you want them to receive from this book, Pain Management, and y'all need to pre-order. Maybe one thing that's on your heart that you gotta, you know, that you saw out through your process. You was like, I want this message to be out here. Yes. Well, I know it's many. It's many, but if to break it down to one, what I want to see people is I want to see them mentally healthy. Mentally. I want to see them free. Mm -hmm. I want them to become more confident in who they pretend mm -hmm. to be sometimes. Mm -hmm. I want have a true identity. Yeah, to have a are. true identity mm -hmm. and be confident in, in that. That's what I want. Yeah. And you can get it through pain management mm -hmm. and so many other projects to come. So, yeah. and I give God glory for that. Yeah, yes. I won't tell here. all of it, but yeah. yes. How pain management is a mirror. It's a mirror. <laughs> it's a mirror. Yeah. It is. Well, I cannot wait to yes. hear the testimony yes. of this book. Yes. So, do you have an email? Yes. So, if you want to contact me, you can contact me at T Brown. 44c at gmail.com um, you can also reach out to me through my phone I don't mind you calling mm -hmm. if it's business and or if it's your we heart crying out with yeah. it. Um, my number is 828-838-6366 so get She's the available. I am available. She's available for God to use her. Yes. She went through the process. Um, man, mm -hmm. Sometimes people cannot tell you how to get through the process, right. not unless they went through it themselves. Right, 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 absolutely. So, you know, you don't have to hurry, you don't have to be in this alone. Right. So reach out to Tanya Brown. Yes. Um, if you didn't hear all that, just send us a message. Yes. Just send me a message. I'll make sure to connect yes. you all. She's available to speak. Yes. You know, come to a conference, come yes. to a meeting, um, yes. support groups. Support groups, yes. yes. Number one support groups. Yeah. You know? And it don't have to be in a church setting because, right. you know, people don't want to go to church. We can take Some it to them. Don't. Yeah. And it can be well, in your we house. Are the church. We are the church. Yes, right. we are. <laughs> we are the church. We're going to bring the word because yes. we are the word. Yes. But, um, yes, support groups, um, young and old, it don't matter. Yes. If 
I just I'm just here to serve. Yeah, let's know. clean up. Let's That's clean the tag. up. Let's clean up, y'all. Yes, let's it's clean time up. to clean up the mess. It's okay. Spilled. Just let it out. Yeah, yeah. Let what it they out. say on Proverbs: spill, spill milk, milk, something like that. Yes, yes. So yes. you know, it's all it's right. It's time to clean it up. It's time to clean it up. Yes, yes guys, nice. y'all. There's some big things going on. Yes. This is our time. This is it what is. God has called us to. Yes, and if you're is. not a believer, we just welcome you into the kingdom. Yes. You know, um, he's accepting, you know, yes. family members all day long. All yes. you have to do is just really, you know, get before him and just, you know, give him your heart yes. and, you know, confess him as your Lord, yes. right? That's we important. doing that on Facebook. Yes, we are. Yes, yes we, we are. are. Today, we doing that. Yes. Unashamed. Unashamed. Yes, I love it. <laughs> yeah, pain management. Pain We're here management. to celebrate pain management. Y'all spread the word. Tanya yes. A. Brown is here. New author. New author. We're going to be getting speaking a bestseller. Bestseller. <laughs> we can do that. Yes, yes we can. Yes, speak yes. it, speak it, girl. Yes, yes. So, um, I just thank you all for joining us. Is it thank anything you. else? Well, it's so much more to come. Yes, so much more to come. Just, just. This is our introduction. This yeah. is our introduction. Introducing. To pre -order. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Pain management, you you guys, uh, make sure you pre-order. Yes. Go ahead. Don't forget. Share, Watch share, my share. Facebook pages. Yes. Watch my sister Catrice. Catrice. Yes. Facebook page uh -huh. with Agape Voice. Yes. Please, please go to her site and, yes. and please get acquainted with it because you're going to see a lot of her in bigger places. Amen to so, that. Um, <laughs> yes, I, I really thank God for you. And Let's go. The timing of yeah. God is just always perfect. It is perfect. Because I, I really didn't know this was going to happen. Me neither. So to see him move like this, y'all, come on. 2020 is all about him, y'all. And beyond. Yes, we, we, yes. We're going for it. So, we're doing it. Yeah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. You guys have a wonderful day. Wonderful have a day. blessed evening. Pain management. management. Yeah, you can it will be on our Agape um voice publishing site yes. once we're all done. And you can you can go there now and get familiar with us, Agape yes. Voice Publishing dot com. Um my um, partner Dearest Price. Um we we moving books, we shaking, we're doing yes. what's in front of us to do. Yes. Um so pray for our strength as yes. we pray for you guys on this journey. We are here, you guys. We are here. Yeah, excited about it. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Catrice Wright. I am your host on Pillow Talks. We here. Welcome to Agape Boys Pillow Talks.